Yo, 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 what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy Mazier here and we are back with another Clash of Clans video. And guys, on to this video, I'm gonna actually show you my favorite strategy, guys. And it is the Titans with the Super Valkyries. Yes, it's crazy because we have three healers, we have three Titans, and we have three Super Valkyries. And you may be wondering why, what is this army, Mazier? Like, how do you work with this? Well, it's kind of similar to the armies that we did before, but it's just the upgraded version again. So I've done, a, you know, Titan attack, which well, Itsu did it way back when Town of 14 dropped, and I, you know, try to do it as fast as possible to bring you the video. So I did that a few weeks ago, and then I did a Super Valkyrie attack, so mass Super Valkyries with this, you know, Super Archers. I'm gonna link that at the end of this video. Maybe you're gonna like that actually. But then this one is actually even upgraded that Super Valkyrie strategy to more like deadlier and more consistent, I would say, strategy on different bases. So in this video, I actually brought you a box base, few ring bases, and also a diamond shaped base yes it's gonna be tough but we're just gonna give you the you know idea of how to hit these kind of bases with this strategy and of course you can see the pet composition we have the phoenix with king unicorn with the queen lizzie with the warden and diggy with the royal champion i don't think there is anything new around that you know part if you get the lizzie definitely put it on your warden because on this you know um certain army it's just beautiful man all right but let's jump into the first attack and i'm gonna explain this army very nicely for you all right, we have this base right here. And why don't we start with a nice base when everyone know about it mostly and some people struggle with it. So with this army guys, what you wanna do is you can also use a warden by the way with your blimp, but you mainly wanna blimp and get the value from the town hall of course with a super archer blimp, but you know you cannot land next to the poison towers. So try to land as far as possible. And I went around the bomb tower. That's because a lot of the times the bases do not have a trap next to the bomb tower yet because they're all still kind of like a OG meta bases like you know on town of 14 where no one would put the bomb towers next to the seeking air mines because you cannot land the blizzard there there won't be super archers in town of 14 because it was just not meta now take a look at the value i'm getting from the super archer they went on the outside now if they would have gone a bit forward maybe i would have even get the monolith but it is what it is. Now you have to work with this base. So where do you start? It's usually depending. So on this base, I want to go from the bottom side, try to get all my army in and a nice funnel. Also, make sure you funnel the other side of as well so the queen doesn't go wrong sometimes you can hold the queen as long as possible to make sure she doesn't go wrong and now we're just gonna go in with the valkyries you know healers queen warden with the king this army is beautiful and you're gonna see why because the valkyries are fast they have a race wall, so they get in front of all the army and when they die they drop a race ball for your king for your titans for your headhunter for your queen for the Lizzie and for three healers, which everything is getting like beautifully valued. Take a look at how crushed that side is, but we do not have a spell of our own. That's why again, we use the Valkyries and everything going smoothly. You have so many baby dragons on this army, like three. So use them as funnel and also as cleanup. Always hold one sometimes to just see Maybe at the back end you can you know you know sometimes maybe you're time failing but the baby drag does so much damage and it's also a good tank so you can you know tank very nicely the back end um, defenses but you already see all the valkyries are dead of course they're gonna die because that's what they're there for i need them to die so they need to get it forward now the rc is there as well sometimes she's gonna stay alive sometimes she might go down but she done her job she's like done with her you know task basically and the queen is there with the three titans that never died it's just simple as that her ability goes off and we're gonna smash this base easily because this is a tough base for a lot of people so i wanted to bring you as you know the first base basically so let's move on to the next all right, we are here on a box space. Guys, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. The box spaces are tough. They are really hard to hit with this strategy. That's why a lot of people might run it in Legends. But let's see what I do. I know it's not a really crazy box space with a crazy monolith in the, you know, in the core. It is on a side, but it's even riskier sometimes because they could be baited. They could be a tornado right where I just had the blimp. And right now, 
there is no tornado so we're gonna land as far as possible as close as possible also to the poison tower so we don't activate it and we get the most value out of it make sure guys when you're dropping the clone spell because you have one make sure the wall breakers are already out of the range of that clone spell so you need the wall breakers to completely go off if they're not already like kind of like over the walls or under or whatever don't drop the clone yet drop another invis then drop the clone that's what something maybe you not having to consider something Sometimes. but now I'm gonna invisible one more time guys and why do I do it a bit late is because there is no splash damage like a scatter or a multi that means the archers can take just a bit of damage then I drop the invis so it's, it's just gonna give me more value basically but now the warden is dealing with the hound and uh, I, I really want the hound to get out of the way so I'm gonna drop a baby drag for it but the hound actually gonna take my baby drag to itself but take a look at this beautiful value right here with the Titan drop it and boom it's gone so beautiful and that is one of the most satisfying thing to see in clash of clans right now and now we're going with the titans first in front of the queen usually if there is an expo if there is so much damage they can easily tank and they have so much hp now wall breaking this corner i want to wall break of course that wall that you just saw and now with the king make sure you drop the healers as fast as possible and you know the baby drag to funnel the king a bit but it might die it doesn't matter too much now i'm dropping the rc from other side why do i do that is firstly because of the time issues secondly because if you drop the rc next to the king and everyone they're gonna go to the poison take a look at under now look poison tower like sorry poison town all poison and everything is kind of getting you know demolished but because you have healers on the rage spell it's just beautiful and look at that timing with the headhunter it's not gonna be too much valid but it's still gonna do one or two shot which is gonna make the queen so slow so my royal champion can actually deal so much damage and the diggy finished off that queen phoenix bring back the king and you can see guys i know it's hard but you can see we already have three titans but that is kind of the only thing left but again it is a very hard you know base to hit the box bases with this strategy it's the same with even the titans only titans it's the same with only valkyries it's overall the same with the super archer blimp you need to get a beautiful value basically and take a look at that phoenix man it looks really nice and to be honest i love the phoenix and the value can give you with the king sometimes because the king just imagine it going to lock on a hero and then it dies but when it comes back it's still gonna be locked onto that certain hero so it's just beautiful man let's go to the next one all right we are on to the next base and this base is maxed this is literally max there is nothing left of this base to upgrade i think except maybe the sum of the walls i'm not sure but take a look at what i do here i drop one archer on the army camp to pull the cc later because i'm gonna land on the cc here with the warden ability now everything going smoothly the blimp is gonna land but don't land it too far because well the town of poison can kill you you can always clone just a bit forward but now make sure the wall breakers are out of the invisibility and the clone so you actually don't clone wall breakers and you saw we just got the ego the other side of the town hall this is why i also kind of like to hit the ring bases a lot more because of the value this you know the super archers can give you and now we're just dropping the invisibilities as late as possible but not too late because we have scatter shots guys we have scatter shot that can be devastating now we got the right side scatter shot i don't think we're gonna get the left one but i want to pull this hound again keep on pulling her and we can just you know kill it with some electro titan and the queen it's gonna be nice but don't drop the king too early take a look if i would have dropped the king to the archer tower the queen could actually walk up to the elixir storage that is bad so don't drop the king too early sometimes or don't drop the queen too early some people just go and drop the king queen warden super early don't do that sometimes it's gonna it's gonna go wrong okay you might have already seen it sometimes people you know do wrong stuff but take a look at those race ball titans healers everything in rage ball and now i'm dropping the royal champion i, I war back here for you know um not too much of a reason but now i realize i need the double war breaker later to get to the scatter shot compartment if the queen don't walk inside now king ability goes off headhunter and take a look at this king with the phoenix this is what i love the phoenix and the titans is gonna absolutely demolish those skellies but the king being alive and kind of under a warden ability basically it's gonna tank so much guys so much sometimes you don't realize it 
but if you do, you already know it, man. And take a look. Queen is on the outside. Some electric Titan on the inside. Royal Champion on the inside of the core. Taking everything down. Look at that Titan on the Rage Spell, guys. It's going to be nice. Royal Champion on the Rage Spell. They're going to take out that. And then Royal Champion on the Rage Spell. Absolutely melted the enemy Royal Champion. And take a look at this. Now I'm dropping the minions and the archers for the cleanup. You know. You never know, man. Maybe it's going to be a 99.9%. .9%. Maybe you need a few more hits on a certain you know basically building to be honest but we crushed this base and i told you this is a hard hitting strategy man this was a max talent 15 of course they had a rage spell but that was their choice because they actually did have the invisibility spell unlocked because that was a golden spot in the rage spell tower all right this is the diamond base that i wanted to showcase it to you guys i know their monolith some of the spell tower are on the left but again that makes it to be a nice bait on the right side which is going to be around this area there could be a bait you never know but i took the risk i'm gonna go with the warden ability with a headhunter with the few loons and of course the blimp we want to land somewhere close to the town hall so we can you know clone next to it we can do this we can do that but it's gonna be nice man but don't land too deep you don't need to land you know land too deep basically now we're gonna rage we're gonna clone and we're gonna take out this side of the base and take a look at my warden man he's doing some job with the headhunter to get actually half of the hp of the king but it's nice but on this attack guys also i want to also showcase a nice little touch that some people do not realize how important it could be in a certain attack now we're gonna get to that don't worry but currently super archer is doing an amazing job and you can already see having that one more invisibility and archers being in the rage spell still gonna give me so much value take a look we just took out that inferno i don't think you could have took out that inferno i think with the double clone you know um composition but with this one is easy now the super minion i'm pulling it because I want to drop the titan in the range of it because if you drop a titan the super minion is actually going to outrange those you know the electricity behind like the titan has it's going to outrange it so you want to have the best value now i'm going to lose a lot of hp of this titan first of all that's why i dropped two healers because the eagle is locked on but look at how fast it's going you know back to full hp while breaking the queen and everything in and this is where it gets interesting you need to have the titans with the queen and some of the valkyries then you can have the king with the one valkyrie and then with the healers this this is all like something that you will get to it eventually but it doesn't matter too much but now you can already see why did i drop the king and royal champ on top to make sure everything getting tanked through this space now i missed the first wall breaker so i'm waiting on the second one and then i drop it of course it's going to open the beautiful wall for the queen and everything going around and this is where you can see the baby drags i'm cleaning up and also i'm you know um, kind of giving a funnel so the king doesn't go on the outside like that it's going to come back inside to the scatter compartment and now here i want to showcase this i'm dropping some archers on this side why do i do that is because it's super far guys but take a look at this poison tower this is where it gets interesting did you see those minions i did that so i can activate the poison tower and not hit my troops this could be a lot of the base like a tesla farm left here maybe on your attack and there's a poison tower so now you can see you distract it with two minions or one minion is gonna be fine because it's a loan kind of if there's a tesla farm you could do your best to you know try to distract it but if you really can it's completely fine but on this scenario you saw exactly how much value we can get out of one or two minions it's that simple man all right we are on the last base and of course i'm gonna bring you another ring base and guys this is just so good on the ring bases. You're going to have so much confidence with it. But take a look at those towers, the invisibility tower and the poison tower. So what I do is basically go from above the royal champion. Why? First off, there could be no trap because the royal champion can do so much damage. And take a look. The blimp made it inside the core without a warden ability. This is something you need to consider sometimes when you're hitting legends. You're going to get used to it later, like knowing exactly where the traps are. But take my advice usually where the royal champion is it's less trap or the queen similar way but the queen does so much more damage and sometimes it's even faster and now the archers are hitting some of the ice golems so i try my best to make sure they are invisible but it doesn't work too well but look at this i make two of them invisible and then my archer visible it's just nice man now we're gonna get the town hall we got good value but still there is monolith two multi scatter expo and the eagle so we didn't get as much crazy value as you might have think 
without a warden of course it is so i'm completely fine with that and now ice golem's coming forward baby drag is always there to funnel something you know back inside and now ice golem's dealing with the queen everything is fine i'm dropping one archers why not man why not just drop it maybe sometimes it's gonna do some damage that you can kill the ice golem with one less hit you never know but now wall breaking the other side that's what we have for wall breakers exactly for this kind of base this exact base because you need to get inside and a lot of times the core is closed that's why i have four wall breakers so you can open the first two and still use another one and still have another one in pocket in case and you can already see we're dropping everything together and of course now go with the warden nicely and i have another wall break i don't need it for now but now i want to also funnel with the royal champion you can have her a bit later to come in but it doesn't matter too much now with two hit on her i drop two because i know there's gonna be rage spells take a look at these beautiful rage spells man and with the warden ability be patient you saw how i was patient to get everything as much as i can but of course we missed the king by just a few tiles so it's fine we have the phoenix so it's gonna come back and tank a lot more for our queen in front of the monolith those race balls is just crazy take a look at the king coming back to life and him being sometimes on the race ball of the valkyries it's beautiful value guys i cannot explain how amazing this strategy is if you really like the ground attacks and if you really like the titans and also if you haven't actually give the you know super valkyries a try it's beautiful and i'm gonna use this strategy on tournaments and um, i think tonight or tomorrow morning like early in the morning we're gonna have our tournament so i'm gonna use this hopefully it's gonna work out for me but yeah and guys that was it for the video i really hope you enjoyed it learned something new and you know obviously like basically this strategy and i try my best to explain everything as much as possible and also bring you different bases but this is the strategy guys i personally love it so much and i'm gonna have of course link down below in the description i'm gonna try my best to bring the other like and um, troop composition like maybe 315 but if you know until now you do not have 320 camp spots you are really missing out because a lot of the times two archers or a wizard can be literally a savior it can save you from a 98 percent or a 99 percent it can literally buy you a star having five more army camps literally it's that simple and guys i'm gonna have some links on your screen right now so make sure you check them out and if you like them give it a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one hopefully so take care and peace